Hi everybody, so welcome to a brand new video. Before we begin, it would be awesome if you can click on the subscribe button if you haven't already. So this is a new tutorial on how we can set up a zombie model with animations from Maximo. Hopefully I'm saying the name of the site correctly. Before we begin, I just want to say this is an awesome website. They got a bunch of animations and characters that you can use. I actually used it before in my really old video uh, named Samurai Demo, I think. Uh, all of the links are in the description. Currently I'm using an environment that I downloaded from the Unity Asset Store. Everything is free. I'm gonna put again the links are in the description. So let me show you how it's gonna be look like in the end of the video. As you can see our zombie model is in our idle animation and when I hold the W key it moves towards the camera. Um, animations I think looks fantastic and let's begin. Okay, so we are in the Maximo website and I think you're gonna need to create an account before downloading anything, so make sure to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and open the character sections and let me now type zombie and this is the model that we use, that we're gonna use. Um, you can actually choose any model that you would like, um, it doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna use this one. It's in the T pose, which is fine by us. And let me just go ahead and hit the download button. You can choose uh, FPX, FPX for Unity, it doesn't really matter. And hit on the download. Let's go ahead and find animations for this character. So, Zombie Idle, which you can choose whatever you think is best for your project. But I'm gonna be choosing this one. So, hit the download. You can choose without or with skin, doesn't really matter. Hit the download button. Awesome, so it's downloading now our idle animation. Let's go ahead and download the walk animation. And I'm gonna be choosing this one. Now this is uh, pretty important because we want to move our character from a script uh, and not from the animation itself. So as you can see, it's actually moving now. And if we're gonna download it now without having it in place, then it's gonna actually move without our script, which is not something that we want, at least not at the moment. So I'm gonna hit on in place. As you can see now, it doesn't move. And let's hit the download. Awesome, let's go back to Unity. Okay, so I'm gonna drag all of the things that we have just downloaded. Awesome, so we got the zombie model here, and the zombie idle animation, and the zombie walk animation. So this is our model, okay? Let's me go ahead and you can go to materials and extract the textures to whatever you want. So let me just hit zombie um, mat and you're gonna select this folder and you can click on fix now. Let me go ahead and create a plane and this is my project is on 2D so I'm gonna change it to perspective. I'm just gonna set up the project a little bit and maybe make the lighting a bit more clear so let's drag our zombie somewhere in our scene which is fine here it's a big big you can play with the scale uh, with the scale factor if you would like um, this is your choice uh, let me just rotate it a little bit so Awesome. Now, if you're gonna run the uh, game, you're gonna see that nothing happens. It stays in the T pose. Uh, now it's where we're gonna implement our animations. For my zombie idle prefab, I'm just gonna take out the animations that is inside. So you're gonna click on it and hit the Control and D. It will automatically duplicate one outside of the prefab. I'm gonna do the same thing here, but before that, let me change it to zombie idle and hit the same key, Control D and zombie walk. You can now remove this and remove this one and we're gonna want both of them to be at a loop time. You can even drag the zombie model and see how it looks like inside of the inspector. Awesome, so let me drag the idle animation. If you're gonna open the animator window you're gonna see automatically that the entry is to the zombie idle and when I run the game it will automatically run the zombie idle animation. Now let me add the zombie walk. And let's make a transaction from zombie idle and from zombie walk to zombie idle. Create a billion, I'm gonna say is move. And you're gonna say if is move truth and 
you're gonna remove this as exit time the same thing gonna do here only this one the billion would be false awesome so I think that's about it we can go ahead and create a small script that controls our movement and add a component new script uh, zombie control so let me just remove all of that and this is a fairly easy um, a very basic script it just so we can control the movement of our um, zombie so let's create a move speed a float of a move speed so I'm gonna give it a really um, I think about like 0 0.5 something like that and put it in void update um, let's create a float of a move that equals to our input dot get axis sorry which here it's gonna be the vertical move by our move speed and you're gonna say move which is this reference here by our time dot delta time and now we're gonna say transform dot translate sorry translate and put the move reference right here okay now let's create an if move is not zero. Oh, sorry I have forgot um, creating a public animator so public animator anim you can do it with a get component if you prefer doing that anim that set billion and I'm gonna say each move which is our billion in our animator else uh, anim that set billion which is the same string equals to false so a uh, pretty simple script nothing really to go over here save the script drag our animator to this field here let me just go ahead and check something because i think i forgot to do something oh, so as you can see this is as his move should be false and here it's gonna be on truth i did the exact opposite okay <laughs> so now if I'm gonna press play and I'm gonna press hold the W key, our zombie is moving. And yep, that's about it guys. And if you're gonna, I mean stop, then it's gonna stop moving. And of course we're gonna press the, uh, the S button which is basically going backwards. As you can see the animations look funny because this is not the correct animation to be played. Um, but it's really easy to fix, you're gonna need to create a blend tree which I'm not gonna show in this video. Um, you don't have to create a blend tree, but I think this is what I would recommend um, because it will even look better. Um, but I'm not going to show in this video how you're going to do that. It's really easy. You're just going to need to have a new animation, import it, and code it when the player goes backwards. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully, it wasn't too long. It will be really great and helpful if you can comment below, guys. Um, if you can subscribe and comment below it will be awesome because I I make videos and I truly can see a lot of comments and you know uh, likes and views are not really a parameter here to see if anybody watches my video. It would be awesome if you can leave a comment below and if you have any tutorials you want to see or something else let me know again in the comments. So thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you in the next one.